20 years is a long time, and at the end of two decades, we've all changed drastically. Just look at the cast of NCIS. We first saw Gibbs, who looks so much younger than he does today. And do you remember the fresh-faced Polly Perrette in the very first season? They've changed so much. Just look at how drastically Sean Murray changed, too. So let's find out how he went about his transformation then. First up, the TV actor's slim look. Sean Murray has played Timothy McGee in the NCIS universe since the very first season. He's become one of the longest standing characters in the series, and we've seen him develop significantly with each passing season. But the one change that's been very obvious has little to do with Murray's personality and more to do with his appearance. When he returned in the first episode of the eighth season, fans were amazed to see how much weight the actor had lost. The best-loved character looked so different that fans were sure it'd be addressed in the show itself. But that didn't happen. The character made a single offhand remark about how he was taking the stairs and laying off the donuts. Turns out the change occurred due to the actor's desire to look after his health. At the end of the day, that was all there was about it. What's more, he shared his routine with the fans. One of the biggest mysteries was solved the day Murray took to Twitter. His weight loss has become a really popular topic with fans and he decided to put matters to rest. Turns out the steps he took to lose weight aren't easy at all, particularly if you're fond of sweets and drinks every now and then. What's more, the journey was a long one and required a lot of hard work. According to him, he stopped consuming alcohol and strictly avoided any sugar in his diet. Plus, he ensured that he was eating only organic food. Talk about commitment. He followed this routine for 14 months, and by the end, he had lost 25 pounds. That sounds pretty tough if you ask us. In fact, the routine worked so well that fans had begun to worry that Sean might be unwell. Thankfully, we learned that there was nothing like that, and the actor had simply changed his diet by eating healthier than before. We gotta say, a small change in his lifestyle brought about a major transformation. Following up, how does Murray's new look reflect his character? Loyal fans who've stuck around since the first season have seen the character evolve. He went from being a probationary agent, who was nerdy and often teased, to the most senior position and a lot more confident. In fact, he's being given more responsibilities than ever before. Now Murray's choice to lose weight was personal and had little to do with the character, but the change mimicked Timothy's journey quite perfectly. NCIS's choice of actors to play a specific role has worked out well for the show. Just like we can't imagine anyone else but Harmon playing Gibbs, the same thing goes for McGee. As the special agent grew more self-assured, he was also able to create a healthy work environment for himself. This is very similar to Murray, who went on a personal journey to improve his health and lifestyle. And we're not just talking about his slimmer physique, we've also seen Murray grow as an actor just like his character grew as an agent. Tim's look changed once again in season 14 in which he grew a goatee and evened out his weight, looking just the part to play the efficient and hardworking investigator. All the choices he's made, such as deciding against leading the team and instead continuing as the most senior field agent, have been for his own good. No matter his role in NCIS, the man earned his stripes regardless of what he looks like. Moving on, what is Murray's favorite episode in NCIS? Over the past 19 seasons, the showrunners have managed to tell some really memorable stories, and there are various stories that fans consider to be some of the best. The same goes for the cast, too, and Murray recently spoke about his favorite episode from the series. According to him, the seventh episode of the second season titled Call of Silence is the best. It's been a while since you've seen that episode, so let us revive your memory. The plot follows a World War II veteran who confesses that he had murdered his friend amidst a battle almost 60 years ago. The episode also reveals that Ernie believes he had killed his friend and brings a gun as evidence. The rest of the squad is tasked with uncovering what really happened. Murray revealed that he specifically loved working with Oscar nominee Charles Durning, who played the vet. He added that Charles was as amazing off-screen as he was on. A complete joy, and we agree. It doesn't feel like Durning's acting at all, and the fact that he's a war vet himself makes everything seem even more believable. Let's learn about his other favorite, too. NCIS wasn't an overnight success. Before the show became a hit with viewers, it took its time to build up, but there's several plots worth mentioning. Murray had a trove of treasures to choose from, so he couldn't just choose one now, could he? He let fans know that he considered the 14th episode of the 8th season, A Man Walks Into a Bar, as another favorite. While the squad investigates a case, it's a subplot between Ziva and Roy that makes it one of the saddest episodes of the show. We know one thing now. Murray likes the more hard-hitting episodes just like we do. Now for why is Murray's choice the best? Sean's favorite show is easily a fan favorite as well. It's definitely one of ours.
Awards, that's for sure. In fact, Call of Silence isn't just a favorite, it is considered one of the very best episodes of the series. The cast gives us one of their best performances ever, and Durning's powerful character as the World War veteran even earned him an Emmy nomination. While such shows can begin to feel a bit unrealistic, Call of Silence proved that the show also has a heart. The highly emotional plot added substance, and we can see why Murray likes it so much. It's the same for A Man Walks Into a Bar, a heartbreaking subplot of a possible romance that couldn't be. It broke our hearts. We saw Roy and Ziva learn more about each other, but all in vain. The ending and Roy's fate left us all in tears. No wonder it's such a memorable episode. Coming up, The Love Agent is still going strong. After Mark Harmon's sudden departure in the 19th season, fans wondered if the show would ever return. Well, the 20th season finally premiered and the rest of the casts are all there and they're going strong. If you don't believe us, Sean Murray's backstage photo is proof of it. The photo includes him and his co-stars all having a good time, and he shared the photo on his Instagram recently, captioning, hanging with some of my NCIS fam. Well, the NCIS fam minus Harmon. Fans were quick to notice the star's absence from the picture. Yes, the actor quit after the fourth episode of the previous season, but that didn't stop them from grieving. It was clear that his absence is being felt by the show's followers everywhere. But we got nothing to worry about, neither Harmon nor Gibbs has been forgotten. In fact, Brian Dietzen, who plays Dr. Jimmy, recently revealed that it feels very different coming to work without Harmon. He acknowledged the role that Harmon has played over the past two decades. It's the actors that made the show so famous, and his absence has been felt. Working together for so long has made the cast members feel like family, with Mark taking the role of the patriarch. That loss cannot be ignored, he explained. You feel that loss right away on an energy level, but also on a personal level day to day. Finally, fans are fearing another star's exit. NCIS may have hinted at another star's departure from the series, and fans have rushed to social media to discuss the possibilities. In a recent episode, McGee was required to temporarily take on the role of director of NCIS from Rocky Carroll, played by Leon Vance. We follow the field agent as he tries to adjust to the new role, initially unsure, but things change and he realizes he's enjoying the work. Images from the show were shared, and since then, fans have been busy theorizing, could NCIS be hinting at a promotion for the character? It's not like he doesn't deserve it. But what if that does happen? What a Vance! If the series finale ends with him earning the spot permanently, this could be signaling Vance's departure from the show. It's possible that he may take on another role, but what would that even be? Fans have been distraught, but they couldn't deny that being director suited the once reluctant agent. But the truth is, they'd be heartbroken to see another favorite say goodbye. Well, that's a wrap for this video. What do you think about Sean Murray's drastic transformation? Let us know in the comments below. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. We'll see you in the next one.